there were a couple of uh, errors in sign that crept into this slide. The first error appears at the matrix vector equation at the top of the slide. And the error errors are that both of these last two signs should be plus. And then when you come to the very last equation, this one, which, as you will recall, was obtained by just moving the terms that are braced in this equation to the right-hand side. When we do that, everything is correct except for this term, which should also be plus. With that, uh, the equations are all consistent, and everything works out just right. So there was a um, systematic error that I introduced in dimensioning uh, vectors and matrices in this segment. And it all starts on, uh, on this slide that I have before me here. The error that I made was uh, in introducing NSD, which is the number of spatial dimensions, into uh, dimensioning the vectors and matrices in the rest of this segment. That, that came really by looking ahead to the, to the elasticity problem, which follows where the dimensionality shows up. Uh, the, the spatial dimensionality shows up when also dimensioning the vectors and matrices. However, for the problem that we're doing here, which is essentially the problem such as heat conduction, we don't need that additional uh, spatial dimension when we dimension the vectors and matrices. So everything works out if we simply ignore NSD here, thereby the dimension of C transpose is number of nodes minus N sub D, where N sub D is the number of Dirichlet conditions, number of nodes with Dirichlet conditions. That, however, propagates all the way through the rest of the segment. So I'm going to systematically identify all those NSDs and just put lines through them, right? Just cancel them out. So there, there, that one. Let's see, where else do we go? I believe that's it for this slide. We go to the next slide, and the same thing. No NSD, no NSD. I think that covers it for this slide. And we move on to the very last slide. And here we have, once again, the NSDs showing up. And those should be excised. Yes, I believe that does it all. The other thing to note and to remember is that here, when we talk about the number of nodes, n sub nodes, that refers to the total number of nodes in the global mesh, right? So that's, that's a global number of uh, nodes in the problem. With that, uh, this should work.